Tech Tip Tuesday with Tech Tip Ted. And today uh, we got a request from some people and we're gonna show you how to change your engine oil. Right, Ted? Yeah, just a couple of tips. Um, it's pretty simple to do. This is what you need to do it. Uh, you can come over here with your camera. We, we're using Sin 3 today. Four quarts oil is what you need. You probably won't use the full four quarts. Uh, filter of your choice, whether it be chrome or black. Uh, we like using the Harley filters because they do have a special micron filter filtration. You need an O-ring for your drain plug. We use a little 565 Loctite on the threads of the drain plug. Something to clean the threads of the drain plug. An oil filter wrench and a 5 8 inch socket tape. And a little bit of brake clean. Alright, that sounds, uh, sounds pretty good. Let's uh, show them where we're going to start. Well, you're going to start, of course, by draining the plug. Uh, pulling a drain plug for the engine oil. Uh, you really should do it when the engine's a little warmed up. It does help drain the oil. As you can tell, this one's pretty warm. Um, if you get the camera down here, I can show you. And this is where people make the biggest mistakes is in the drain plug. The drain plugs are not underneath the engine. They're underneath the transmission. And the biggest mistake that people make that I've seen is they'll pull the drain plug out of the case of the engine, which is something you really never want to do. The drain plugs are in the actual oil pan, which is underneath the transmission. There's two drain plugs in here. One's in the front, right here. That's your 5 8 inch hex head threaded. It's a magnetic threaded plug for your engine oil. You have one directly underneath the transmission over here, which is for your transmission. And then you have one right here, which is for your primary, not associated with the pan itself. So if you're just doing engine oil, then we're just going to pull this front drain plug with a 5 8 inch socket. And we're going to let that oil drain while we go ahead and pull the filter off and um, pull the dipstick out. So you want to have your clean drain pan. Always use a clean drain pan so you can kind of look at the oil in case there's anything in there. You want to look at the end of that drain plug to make sure there's no big pieces of metal on there. And then you just let it drain. And while that's draining, you can go around and pull that dipstick out. Tato, pull that dipstick out. You go over there. Pulling the dipstick out allows atmospheric pressure to help get that oil out of there a little bit quicker too. Uh, All right, well Ted, I got the dipstick out and we're gonna let this drain then we'll be right back with you and we'll show you the rest. Yeah. All right guys, uh, we're back and we're almost done draining from the drain plug and Ted's gonna get to the oil filter here. Yeah, that's a uh, Harley oil filter wrench that we use. It has a notch in here so that you can get around the uh, crank position sensor. And you just want to loosen the filter up. And usually what I do is just, uh, I'll set them right there like that and let them drain for a few minutes. And while that's draining, uh, we went and cleaned up our drain plug, took the old O-ring off, cleaned up all the threads, cleaned up the magnet and the end here. And then what you want to do is you just want to add a new O-ring to the bottom. And then uh, I use 565 thread sealant. Just to seal the threads so the plug's ready to go back in. So now we're just going to complete the drain. Once this oil filter drains out, you can take and uh, just put it in your pan. Then you're going to want to clean up this area with the brake clean a little bit. It helps.
Alright, so we're going to finish cleaning up the oil that spills when you take the filter off. And you want to wipe the surface, the seating surface for the oil filter where it goes on. You want to make sure that's wiped clean. And then what I do is just take a little bit of oil, put it on this gasket surface so it's not dry, and then we just spin it back on. And we just hand tighten these filters. And that's usually good. But the key is to make sure you use a little brake clean and get that oil residue off the uh, wires and the engine parts so that it doesn't continue to drip oil. And then from there we're going to go ahead and reinstall the drain plug. Alright guys, Ted is uh, he's putting our drain plug back in. And Ted, why don't you tell our viewers uh, what you torque that down to? You never really want to use an air tool or anything on the oil pan like that. What, what do you recommend it, it gets torqued to? Uh, I think the recommended torque is 14 to 16 foot pounds. So you want to do is just snug it up and then get your torque wrench in there and um, just check the torque to make sure you torque properly. I would stay on the light side of that <coughs> torque spec rather than the heavier side. Just because you're going into aluminum, it's steel going into aluminum, so it could be a problem with stripping it out. All right. So, so once you, once that's done, your filter's on, you're all cleaned up. You can go to the other side. We're going to add three and a half quarts of oil. I wouldn't add four quarts. I would add three and a half and run the bike, get it warmed up, and then recheck it, and then at that time just add accordingly. So you can open up another quart tape. So you're going to use a funnel, uh, makes it easier. And just go ahead and dump three, about three and a half quarts in there. And then we're going to get, <clears throat> so this is your last quart. So you're going to want to bring it down to about a half a quart in the sight line. That's pretty good there. And like I say, Tate, I put the cover on that and then uh, run the bike, get it warmed up. And then with a nice clean dipstick, just recheck it. And we did a video, remember we did a video on checking your oil. Mm -hmm. And you want to use the right uh, side of the dipstick, like we're uh, vehicles upright. With this screwed all the way in, you'd want, you wouldn't want to be over there. You really want to stay just below the full mark. You don't want to be over the full mark. These have a tendency to, they don't like to be over full. We discussed that about the breathers. Remember that, Tate? Mm -hmm. Yep, you get some coming you out You get of a little breather. oil coming out of the breathers. They don't like to be overfilled. So uh, basically we're going to put in our three and a half quarts, uh, put our dipstick back in, run the bike, get it hot, check our oil, then we'll add accordingly if we need to add a little bit. Absolutely, that's all there is to it. Sounds good, and uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. That's another episode of uh, Tech Tip Tuesday with Tech Tip Ted. And uh, please give us that big thumbs up. Keep watching. If there's anything you want to see, uh, let Tech Tip Ted know, and we'll get it on camera for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.